So welcome back to my channel. This is Dom and uh, I talked about this on a previous video uh, about getting around to painting some uh, bolt action tanks up. So, and also trying out some of these um, Tamiya um, weathering things. I've never used them before. Uh, and somebody said in one of the video comments was, um, <laughs> you should do a tutorial. I'm not sure I'm quite up to tutorial standard, right? But I thought I'd have a play. So this is obviously um, T3476 uh, from uh, Warlords. This is the, little, the battle card. Um, it's a very simple kit. I've, decked, I've done it as uh, the early war version, 1944 version, um, just because I think that's where I'm gonna get most use out of it. I've done two of them. So this one I've already painted, uh, finished up. So I'm not sure about these boxes on the back. They just look really weird. Looks like somewhere where you can put your lunch box. Anyway, um, you can see, I don't know whether you can see, it's quite subtle, the effect. I've used the rust. There are two rusts in these packs. Uh, one is a sort of quite browny rust, and one's a very sort of orangey rust. In fact, it's called orange rust. Um, so I used the orange rust first, and that seemed to make more of a mark it's a very subtle edge mark you can just see along here you can see around the tracks i put some on the tracks on the edging here where the sort of you would expect rust to collect i then went back over with the darker version of it which didn't really show very much i used the soot you can see some of the soot coming down at the engine port there and on the grill at the top because i thought that was where that would be most likely um, and I think it's come out okay. Uh, you can see the wheels, there's rust, I put a bit of rust and what have you. Now I did then wash it afterwards um, using an ink wash. Uh, and I don't know whether that's just taken the effect off it. Um, but, you know, it's it's a subtle colour change and, and I quite like it. Um, the model's a good model. It's a very simple model. It doesn't have any... It should really have those gasoline tanks on the side, wouldn't it? But they didn't come in the pack, so... Um, in either of them, so it clearly wasn't part of this sort of... This fit-out. Anyway, I, I think the... the as I say, the, the um, edging worked really well. Now, I did try and do it on another tank. So this is a... Um, a Hungarian Toldi tank, um, which I've had for a long time. This is a 3D printed tank. Um, was done by uh, Paint and Glues uh, Miniatures. Uh, really good if you're looking for cheap um, and pretty accurate uh, and pretty good 3D printed tanks. Go there and try try them out. So I bought this a while ago when I was sort of had a distant thought about using. I think I did it to, to make up my postage amount and I thought well at some point I might do a Hungarian army so I, I painted it up. Now I used the Dunkel Grey German colour and then put the camo on top. Then I tried to use the weathering powders and it didn't really work. You, you can barely see any of it on here which is weird because on this one you get the subtle effect of around the edging. This one you don't get any. So it, it, I don't know whether it's because it was 3D printed or whether it was a much heavier coat of paint. I, I don't really know, but it hasn't worked on that model at all. Whereas I think it has on this one. So I don't really know why the answer is. But anyway, um, I've got another one over here. This is the, the sister tank. You can see all I've done is painted up it's been uh, had its main main color painted um and the tracks done and and the transfers put on the, that's all i've done so far um so i'm gonna have a go and see what show you the effect that these weathering powders have there you go they they, they they're very much like uh, ladies cosmetic and they they have that sort of texture if you've seen people, in, uh, people seen ladies using these things, mascara or whatever it is, um, it's a similar kind of thing. They have a little, they come with a pad and a brush. I mean, you could just use cotton buds or something like that, I guess. And you get a little bit on your, 
on the on the end of it there and just rub it on where you want it and that's as simple as it comes um, so it's just a question of of trying to get it in places and where it would likely accumulate um, now a working tank probably wouldn't have a huge amount of rust on it because it's a working tank right um, but you know, for aesthetic reasons, I'm going to work it in around some of the points where you would expect it to go. And you, can you see that? It's sort of going on. Again, I found more is less, if you like, um, because it gets dulled down later on. Putting a bit more on it makes all the difference. And I did see one model guy on, on the interweb somebody who's a far better painter and what have you than me um, and he actually if you get too much you can just brush it off because it's like powder um, and he actually scuffed up his models he got a bit of wild brush type effect and scuffed scuffed them a fair bit which I can see the logic of because then at least it's got somewhere to adhere to. So I'm going to take the, so take the turret off. So you can see, I'll put a little bit around here because that's just, again the sort of place where you might get a bit of accumulation on the edges of things, it tends to where rust goes. There we go. Oops, that came off a bit more than I meant there, but you can, again, you just rub it off. Which is its charm, but also its difficulty. There we go. Let's do the turret. I guess around the bottom edge is probably most likely because that's the bit that water would collect. We go around here. Bottom of the armament probably wouldn't, but around the edge of the. It's all these edges that get the. get rust accumulating and I think this orangey one is best because it, it's more noticeable certainly on this green there we go you can do streaks of it you know it sort of run down there you go so that's what that one um, you should really wash these brushes but since I've only really used a couple of different versions so there's a gun metal and silver in there in that pack so I'll put that away for a minute. I'll clean that up in a bit. Um, what should I use next? I'll tell you what, I'm going to use the mud because the mud, there's mud in here which is kind of useful as well. Um, oops, get that out. Put that around the, the track. Again, just get a good amount. You can't really tell on these brushes how much you got on, but let's just work that into the tracks nothing else just takes that brightness away newly painted you know and I'm a, I've mentioned this before on the channel I'm a I'm a gamer who models not a modeler who games um, you know my my aim is always to get something on the table that that looks half that I'm not ashamed of basically um, not to be a work of art some people are just absolutely awesome some of the guys down our club just paint the most beautiful miniatures my mate nick who i wore gamed with for years and years and years before he moved away to a different part of the country and don't see him as often um he is a phenomenal painter really and he loves the painting for me the painting is just to get in in the figures getting the tanks on the on the table I think it's a question of just building these things up. So you can see, can you see that? Um, how clear that is. It's just taking the, the newness off it, which I think is part of the, the aim of these weathering powders. 
I suppose I should put a little bit of mud on these. Again, it's likely there'd be mud around the edge here, where the guys are climbing in it, maybe on top. It's not really mud mud, it's just darkening of the... That's that one. So that little pack, that's pack A, has sand, light sand and mud. And then I got this one. This is snow, soot and rust. So I'm gonna use the, oops. Here's the soot again. Yeah, soot is just a very dark color and I'm gonna use it where the um, exhaust pipe bits are here, just to sort of put a bit of darkness around it. I mean, you could do this with just paint, to be honest. And if I'm honest, that's kind of, there you go, I think that works quite well. I think paint probably would do it just as well, just dry brushing it with something like that would be fine. Let's put a bit at the end of the, the gun because you would get muscle flash, especially with a gun like this that hasn't actually got a muzzle brake or anything on it. So there you go, in a few minutes, let's get rid of that for the moment. In a few minutes we've taken that to a bit of a weathered state. Certainly enough to sort of take the edge off it. Um, next up I'm going to put a wash on it and then uh, varnish it and we'll see how it comes back. Back in a mo. So there you go, there's the finished product. Had, uh, what did we put on? Dark tone wash from uh, Army Painter Quick Shade um, all over it, which dulls it down a bit, darkens it down a bit. Gives it that dirty look, which I quite look, I, I quite like in a in a an armored fighting vehicle. Um, and I varnished it with a spray can varnish. Um, so does that uh, those little sort of weathering things really add a huge amount to it? You can see it around the edges here. You can see just down around the around the the wheels, uh, the soot effect has worked quite well. Oops, turret's fallen off, never mind. Um, so is it worth the effort? <sighs> These things are fun, but I'm not really sure. I, I don't know, the painter of the standard I am, um, that it really adds, adds a huge amount to the uh, offering. Um, I could have got very similar effect with just using uh, dry brushing and um, and washes really um, I think I was a bit stronger with this this was the first one I did you can see a bit more rust effect than there is on this one so maybe I was just a bit more forceful on the first version um, but you know they've come out okay there's a pair of them for my collection um, ready to join the Russian hordes when I finish painting the Russian hordes if I don't get too distracted by other projects um, so the weathering, don't know, what do you think? I, I, I like the effect on the wheels, um, I think particularly these ones have come out quite well, I quite like the sooty effect you can get coming out the exhaust. Um, I'm just not really sure it adds a huge amount more than I could have done with the dry brush, uh, to be absolutely honest. Um, but you know, you've got to try these things. And as I say, I think if you were a, a considerably better painter than me, um, you might get some more out of it. But there you go. There's two more additions. Well, I suppose it's three more additions if you count the uh, the toldy to the collection. We're ready to go rock and roll. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Uh, this is Gamer Dom signing out. Enjoy your games. Have fun. Try not to take it all too seriously. And I will see you again soon. This is Dom signing out. Did that twice. Oh well.